Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast, I believe... We're in double figures now, this episode, episode 10. 10. Episode 10, that's really good. They said it one. couldn't be done. I'm Joe McGrath. And my name is Joe Smith. We make up the Sloppy Joe's podcast. Yeah. And well, we, I say me and you, there's another yeah. addition to the podcast. Producer Ethan, let's Producer Ethan. In. Ethan? Hello, Joes. Hello, fellow Sloppers. Ethan here. Um, really sorry I can't make this week's episode. I am in Ayanapa, of all places, which I wouldn't really expect myself to be in a place like this, but... Here we are, these things happen. Um, but yeah, I can't be here for this week, so I've managed to organise a very special replacement producer uh, to make up for it. I think you'll recognise him. I'm sure he'll do a cracking job. So back to you guys to introduce who it is. And he the producer. Rough. He does look raw. <laughs> First of all, he needs some veg. struggling out there in Ainapa. Who have we got on the desk? Who have we got? <laughs> <laughs> It is Jay Martin. Yes, Jay. Mate. How are you, yes, Jay? Jay? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? <laughs> Pressing these buttons is hard. It's not. It's easy, and you look great doing it. How, yeah. how are you, Jay? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thanks, thanks for having me on. Right, can we just tell you people, obviously the audio listeners will not know what's going on, but for the visual listeners, Jay is behind the screen. <laughs> Jay's the f- in the corner. The first time ever, he's normally front and centre here from Stratford Paddock looking handsome. I mean, you still look handsome, Jay, but well, you're in Thank charge. You. How you. is your finger in? <laughs> what? He's, what? He's on the, he's on hey? the skills. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got it down to a fine art. I'm just learning to press... One, that's for you. That's for yeah. me. One for right. me. So he's yeah. coming to me. That's oh, sorry, two for Joe. Joey. What's the? That's the, 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 the. That's what we call the wide. That's shot. the wide shot. Yep. And that. That's on me. Yeah, yeah. lucky. Like magpies in that. Back, back to the wide. What's there going up on today's show? Then, oh, Joe? is it busy? Just a bit. Is yeah. it right? So we're gonna do uh, nine out of ten club. We have got some controversy. We need to clear that up. And Jay's in charge of Jay's. Is Jay this week? Jay's First week here and he's on nine out of ten club duty. Unbelievable. Thank you, Jay, for coming on. By the way, agony bants. Any time. Agony bants. Agony bants. Uh, we answer your questions. Obviously, listeners get in touch with some conundrums. People are struggling out there. Really We've got to struggling. do it for them. Joe versus Joe. It is sound of music versus. Well, I can tell you now for the first time. My specialist subject this week is going to be numbers one to ten. One of the most fundamental subjects possible, by the way. And then we're going to be doing an Ask Us. Yeah. Because Ethan's not in, but we've got your questions in for the podcast. We'll get Jay to answer them. This week. Mm. Uh, we start it's every so good to see you, Joe. It's, it's great so to see you. Mate. Well, how has your week been? My week's been all right, actually. Talk to me. Well, if I were to do this action... Right, so he's got his hands. He's got his hands and his other hands. What would that suggest to you that I've been doing this week? Um, see, I already know. You've been doing some martial arts, haven't I've, you? I've started a jiu-jitsu class, Joe. All right, now this is strange, isn't yeah. it? I mean, why <clears throat> jiu-jitsu and why now in your life? Okay, firstly, why jiu-jitsu? Because it's a... I would say, based on the very... <laughs> He's thinking on the spot on that it's probably the, the martial art that can help you in a street fight the most in the shortest amount of training hours. Okay. Because it takes people to a realm that they've never been before. Crikey. The ground. Yeah. <laughs> Grappling. None of this striking, kicking, headbutting okay. nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. You're a threat. You want to dance? Me? No. Let's go to the floor, big boy. Let's see what kind of dancing you can do down there. And I'll tell you what it is. Break dancing. So I'm breaking you, your arms and I'm dancing all over your corpse. So if you get into a fight I'll with your jujitsu <laughs> skills. Just to clarify, clarify, I have no jujitsu skills. I've done one lesson. Yeah. But my word was it good. It was really good. I was there, right? So what happens is you go in, you do a little warm up. You know, a little bit. Then you sort of split into into little groups and you slowly You split into little groups. I say groups, pairs. You slowly kind of you know, the instructor gives a little tutorial and then you follow it with it within your pair. A much okay, slower, nice. yeah, worse yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, um, and then it got to the point by the end of it. So, first of all, you just do a little move, then you do a sort of slightly bigger move, and then by the end of it, it's like, right, it's just you against each other fighting, really scrapping, scrapping. You're not allowed to throw strikes, but other than that, just do what, what you want. You can tickle if, you, if that's going to get the, the job done. Can you bag them? You can't tea bag them, no, 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 not tea bag oh, them anyway. Just pull the p- pants down, yeah, you can do that, really. Oh, yeah, great. it's part of, the, part of the rules and that. But by the end, it was literally just fight, really, to submission. Right, 
So one of you has to tap out. <laughs> So I was with this lad who I'd been practicing with all day. Can I say, you're an intimidating looking guy, you know, if you don't actually know you. Okay. What, how tall that's, are you? That, that's a real insult, failed compliment. Yeah, you, you, you're very tall. <laughs> Cheers for that, Jay. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, like, you're not you're that broad, intimidating. Not you look like you Jesus. Broad, you're big. You I mean, can, come on. I like, do some damage to someone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm with you, yeah. Jay. Well, I'm not hard looking, but I'm no. big. Um, so last thing is fight to submission. Now I got on top of him, right? Just because yeah, that's how it's laid out. You take it in turns. And, I, what and do it you mean to you put, take it in turns? So you start on the bottom one. What is this? And then they start on the bottom. Yeah. This feels like Gareth Keenan in the office. Yeah. It's mad. So sometimes you're a top and sometimes you're a bottom, and that's just how jujitsu works, right? It so really is. And often you've got to do the bow beforehand as well. Yeah, you do. So what happened is I got on top of him. And I was in a sort of what you would describe as like a dominant position. So you could batter but, him now. But that's the thing. You're doing this instinctively. You're going, batter him. There is no this. There is no strikes. Oh. So now I'm in a point where, yes, physically I've got the advantage. And I just was on top of him. And I just whispered to him, I don't know any submissions. And, he, and I was thinking he'd go, I think I thought I might teach one. Or just say, okay, we can stop there and I'll take a go. He just went, just twist what you want. <laughs> Just, oh just grab God. what you want what? and twist what this you is, want. This is mental. So I would just... You're on so top of a stranger so and he's just yeah. whispered, twist what just you twist want. It, just twist it until I say stop, basically is what he said. So at this, at this point, I just, I just started... I was just going. I was just like grabbing his face, like twisting his arms, trying to pull what him about his an ears? Arm, like doing his ears, like fingers in the eyes and stuff. I was just doing everything. Tapping, he tapped me out. Pulled my arm off, all sorts. He pulled you off. Yeah, oh, he pulled me off, good and proper, right? But then, so like the thing is, it's like a, it's a, a mixed class, ages, gender, experience, everything. You just turn up and you just go in. Yeah, because that is jujitsu. That's jujitsu. Just you know, I've made that up. They don't do that in the class. Oh, they not. No, it's way more. It's way less sad than I'm making out. It's proper. It's like a real thing. Um, and then two seconds before the end, this guy comes up to us and goes, "Oh, have you not swapped partners yet?" And we're like, no. So he went with my partner, and I was left this to fight. This feels weird. <laughs> I don't know how old. A very, very young woman who was about five foot four. Oh, no. So I'm there like, <laughs> neither of us know what we're doing. This is just basically like a little street fight where I'm just fighting a kid. This sounds crazy. <laughs> this. this honestly sounds <laughs> mad. We're going, we're rolling, like trying to fight each other. And then the next thing she knows, she goes, my back! And she's what like, <laughs> She went, my back's cracked. Oh, no. and, I was like, and I went, I'm sorry. She went, don't stop. And I was like, no, I don't know what to do. So I carried on this. She went, don't no, stop. And then I, <laughs> then I stopped. She learned a lot. And then she like unclicked her back, got back up. Fucking stop welling me. It was brilliant. It was really, really good. Really this enjoyed it. Crazy. Yeah. Got blisters all over my feet. Took all the skin off the top of my feet from like pushing off the floor and stuff. Really good. Are you going to go again? Yeah, oh, big time. There will be updates. Really? Yeah, you just get your head kicked in and people like you twist well, your Why do like, you want to do that? Do you know why, Joe? Why? There's one word and I don't think you've ever had it in your life. Here we go. That word is control. <laughs> yeah? Whether it's <laughs> chatting to someone you've never Cheeky met. Cheeky fucker. <laughs> whether the it's... World you know, buffets. In a difficult situation, whether it's at a world buffet, you need to know you're in control of wherever that conversation may go. And even if it goes to the floor... In six to eight years' time, <laughs> I will have a minute level of control. So are you currently working on a belt? Um, I'm not, because I'm in the fundamentals class at the minute. So I don't think right. they start awarding belts yeah, yet. Yeah. I think I have to work my way up. But yeah, you work towards a... I think you start on a white belt by default, and then you work up to a blue belt. Of course. What, uh, what age was it, Joe? You say this girl was young. Uh, how, I don't how know. Young? I, I, and again, I wouldn't want to disrespect her, because she, she, she had like, kickboxing shorts yeah. on. I don't want to get my head kicked no, in, No, and, and everyone was really nice. That's the thing. It was really nice. It was good. But she can't have been older than 20. Nah. Okay. That's, you know, it was a yeah. very young person who was a lot smaller than me. But my God, was it fun. Wow. I'll be going back next week. Have you ever done martial arts, Jay? No, no, I I haven't, to be honest with you. I'm not into all that. It sounded a little bit homoerotic. There's nothing wrong with that. No, but they're no. like whispering to each other and, oh, just pull that. And yeah, oh, twist, twist I don't know any what? submissions. And, uh, you know, it's a bit too familiar for me. I'd did you douche before going? Uh, I did, yeah. But that's because I had a big curry for dinner. <laughs> what about you, Joe? The have last you, thing I want is to pull up. Have you, have you done uh, oh, any martial arts? Joe, you look like you have. Have you? 
I look like I have what done a martial arts. You what, look like you do you've seen arts. Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> I've, I've done no martial arts ever. And I don't you plan do on doing. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's My, not what I was getting at. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> He's fully taking Ethan's spot, isn't he? I know. He's slagging me off <laughs> all the time. Give it a big weight and that. Uh, my mum didn't like that bit. <laughs> when like Ethan it. had to go up my weight. What he? Fat shame, Jay. Oh, he did, he did, Jay. That's did, Jay. a bit out yeah, of order. Yeah, she's get rid of him. Do you know what I mean? Started it, mum. Yeah, my mum. One signature. Um, <laughs> um, I've never done martial arts, but I've got shoulder problems. They pop out. Today. They pop out, Jay. Did they? Oh, my shoulders pop out. Really? I'm like, gonna see, uh, like, yeah, um, story. I'm going to see a physio. Have soon. we told that story on the podcast? Which one? When your shoulder pops out. Yep. We're not saying. No, I've told it on another podcast. It's famous mm. there. So what, do you mean it's fame, what do you mean it's famous there? Like I, it's I, copyright? I have, I have, I have, just I have, tell it now. No, I have, I have. Tell it now, the camera's getting turned off. No, no, I have. Hey, I'm James got a lot more authority than Ethan ever had. Shoulders pop out so I don't want to get into combat. So what they happened? popped out in certain situations. They popped out when I was on a Benidorm water slide. Yeah. I went down and I hit the water too hard with the impact. <laughs> and it came out, Andy, my best mate. It was like one of those race ones. <laughs> so did you know you go up and you're buzzing like that? Like that. Ooh. <laughs> and then you, you see your mate there, and then you'll woof, fly up like that. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as my shoulder hit the water, oh, I felt it a little bit then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Has it popped out? No, it's not. But it's oh, so so I'd kill sore. for it to pop out now. So sore. I remember it popped out when I played. I decided to play rugby union when I went to Salford Uni, and it was the worst mistake of my life. Yeah, popped out then. It popped right. Here's what it, it popped. Here's what happened. You know when you, I got tackled that hard, it popped out. But I managed to stay on my feet. And then we were, me and this guy were having a little bit of a, like, you know, your heads down, and you were pushing and shoving, uh, all legal. And then someone came behind me. Still legal. Hit, you see, uh, <laughs> hit me so hard that way that it popped back in. <laughs> I was fixed. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Uh, Stephen tries podcast. You want to listen to that one? It was an old episode. It was I'm not plugging there. It's beat oh yeah, yeah. Because Stephen tries no, needs our support, doesn't he? Yeah. Hey, let's, well, that's what I mean. he's <laughs> struggling. Let's give him a plug. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that. I need some <laughs> stories from you. You get you I'm get away with a big one. You're from yeah, you, that was all about jujitsu. Go on. Um, there's a guy on our street who who has a routine that is just crazy. Right. Every day about 10 a.m. he decides to. What, he, he lives down the road and he comes to the end of our street on the corner. He decides to clear his throat at the end of our, at the, like outside my house. And I mean, this is a routine every week, about every weekday, about 10 a.m. He'll go and stand outside my house over a grid, and go, ah, like that, and really clear his and throat. And spit into the. And spit into the grid. The only reason why I don't think he does it in his own house is because I think, because he does it that loud and that violently, there'd be trouble. Really? So now he does it outside our house, but it's it's a horrific. You know, and it's a good thirty seconds to a minute long. This clip, you know, do you know where, and do you it builds where, like, slightly. Someone like you might be asked to leave the room before you fart or something, or you yeah. might do that. You think that's what he's doing? I think it's that's such what a he's doing. violent and horrific. <sighs> that he just goes and does it in the street. Yeah, that's disgusting. It is disgusting. Isn't Why it? is he doing that outside your house? Have you said anything to him? What? No. <laughs> Sorry. Am I, am I interrupting something? No, sorry. I was just talking <laughs> podcast that we're doing. <laughs> what happened? Sorry, no, I just got, I'm clicking on my next story that I want to talk about. <laughs> Jesus Christ, let's talk about this I one thought first. that story was done. No, yeah, I did as well. <laughs> say something to him. I'll record it for next time. We can play it on the show. Okay. Why are you so scared to say something to him? Because, you know, he might have troubles. Is, it, is he... Does it look like he's troubled? I don't know. <laughs> What do you think? Why don't you want to say anything? <laughs> Who is it? What do you think, Jay? You're so coy about this. Ain't he being weird about it? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not being weird about it, Jay, am I? Listen, take Joe with you, because he does jujitsu, oh, and he, can Joe can have a word You know what him. I've learned in that one hour of jujitsu? Fuck all. So no. we can't be taking me anywhere to deal with anything like that. <laughs> you could twist his throat. I could twist his throat. <sighs> Bring it on. What yeah. about you, Jay? How's your week been? Yeah, it was all right. I went down to uh, Southampton to scatter my lady friend's nana's ashes. Oh. Um, so, you know, Straight God rest her. But um, I was so, selling... Go on. Well, I just want to get on the scattering side of things. Go on. What did you do? Like, just go on. Well, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't take part in the scattering. I was just there. Oh, but, I thought you all might go a handful. No, no. They have it in a, like a machine. Not a machine. Well, like it's a like, a, machine. like an urn, like a... Thing, and then you go like juggle it like that, and it sort of pumps out 
ash near this tree in the uh, in this crematorium where you know it was a nice little place. Right. But um, yeah, I was telling you guys, I went I went down there for the funeral, yeah, obviously, yeah. but a few months ago, and I got fucking racially profiled at the funeral. Did yeah, because yeah, I was the only like man them there. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, put you put the, put, put the camera on YouTube. <laughs> I was the only non-white person at the funeral, but I was in a suit. I looked smart. <laughs> So, I mean, it wasn't like yeah. rocks up in <laughs> shorts and a flip flops. It would have been fine to racially profile, <laughs> yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it should Shall be right either way, really. And oh, the, the vicar comes over straight to me, sees, looks around, he's smiling at everyone, sees me, storms over, and he's like, oh, can I ask uh, how you know the, uh, the family? Oh, <gasps> this is mad. Yeah. So I just said, I'm a fucking Paul Berry, you <laughs> dickhead, fuck off. <laughs> Shagging a granddaughter. <laughs> Fucking knob. And that was the end of that. <laughs> That's bad now, that actually, isn't it? That is bad. Yeah, it was, honestly. And did it, and did it, did it have that feel genuinely like he, you know, it was consciously or subconsciously, it was that. Well, like me, racially, my brother-in-law was in hysterics. He's like, I can't believe you just got racially profiled. <laughs> I was the only one he asked. It might have just nah, been a coincidence, nah, 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 nah. but it was a bit weird because he sort of went out of his way to come over to me. That's not coincidence. And I thought, like, what did he actually think I was doing? Yeah, like, odd. Did he think I was gate crashing and fucking funeral? I was going to nick something. It was really weird. Speaking of that, did you know, right, there's a thing in, like, churches Yeah. and, like, you know, places where they're kind of like open to the public or open to their kind of... Yeah. Where there will be people who just go to funerals every weekend for really? free food. For the buffet. For the buffet? What's yeah, that it's buffet, like a known Jay? thing. They call, yeah, it's like a known yeah. thing. Yeah, no, th like there is a thing. And they'll be like, oh, so sad. Anyway, really? a bit of smoked but salmon. Yeah, yeah, they do it. People who don't even know. It's like a good buffet. I'd go yeah. for some smoked salmon. It's not bad though, is it's it? Got open price a bit. Jake, was there a buffet at yours? Um, there, was, there was a bit of a do. Afterwards, yeah. Well, not at the actual place like where the crematorium was. We all went off to somewhere else. But you could do it, couldn't you? Because no one's going to question you. No one's going to. And who's going to think, oh, you must, like, yeah. you, you, the, the person that's passed away might have known you and no one else did. Yeah. So you could blag it. Where would you like, you've died. Yeah. Sorry to break it to you. No. Where would you like, <laughs> if anyone hears j weird noises on the podcast audio version, <laughs> Jay's <laughs> accidentally pressed a different button. On the I got record. confused there, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you died. Uh. Where <laughs> and how, like, do you want your ashes to be scattered? Where and how? Like, okay, right, so yeah, where and how? Go yeah, on. that's exactly what I meant. Uh, yeah, I want you to compact them as densely and tightly as possible into a bullet, and I want you to fire that bullet into the heart of the man that killed me. What if you just, like, <laughs> what if you got cancer? Just the doctor then. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor that failed to save me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Take this. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Do you, remember, did you ever hear the, the two-pack story no. with his asses? They no. smoked them, didn't they? Did they? Yeah. He's the, what are you that, talking about? That, there was the story, right, that two-pack, his ashes, his mates smoked them in a spliff. Some of his ashes, they put them That's in a spliff. Insane. Yeah. Right. Would, that be, would that be all right for you? I won't mind that, yeah. What would you do with your ashes? I've got a real, like, <laughs> I'd love to, I'd love to, like, have them in a big firework but then no one know the fire that's going off because I've got a real thing about the element of surprise. I love Is that it. your favourite element on the periodic if, table? If, if there's a viral video that includes the element of surprise, it is my dream video. Really? The one video at the minute that's doing really well is in America, people are blowing up basketballs to the point where they're just about to blow yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they're bouncing them and, and the element of surprise in that. You love wow. the element of surprise? I love it. What do you so, prefer, Jay? Uh, Hydrogen, nitrogen <laughs> or the element of surprise? Um... I'm a big fan of potassium. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. So I'd I'd have mine in like a car a Catherine wheel. Mm. Or like just a you know We're just firing out everywhere all over people. Bang! Yeah. Like that. Dust everywhere. Dust. Yeah, but also a bit of spark. <laughs> I'd like a little bit. <laughs> that's how, the yeah, that's how you want to be remembered, Joe. I'm sure you will. Um <laughs> I mean, the only fun news stories I wanted to bring to you today is about a guy who bloody loves Chernobyl. Right? The T V show? No, uh the the, the the I don't know what it's called, the bit in Ukraine. Um, <laughs> what is it called? The the is it a city? Was it a city? Mm, town, I think. Town. So, so this guy loves Chernobyl. Can't get enough of it. Right. Loves it. His, his special day, he's proposed to his girlfriend, 
of three years outside a power plant. How old is she? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm girlfriend of three years. We've gone out for more than three years. Oh, okay. Thank God. I just love that. It's on a special occasion. You know, some people go to Paris. Some people do it on beaches. You Milton know, so Keynes. Some people do it in. I think. What do you mean, Milton Keynes? You, I thought you went to Milton Keynes. I went to Cleef Oaks. Oh, sorry. It is like the, the the north version of Paris. You know, some people do it in romantic settings. Yeah. Um, James did it in front of a uh, nuclear power plant. That's nice, that isn't it? Because he loves Chernobyl. Why does he love it so much? I don't know. <laughs> what what would you do? I what only you, got that line of the story. What would you do if Becky proposed to you at Chernobyl? Like you go, you know, let's go to Ukraine for holidays. You know, get your gas mask and that. Do you get still your, need to wear a gas mask, Jay? Yeah, I don't counter. think you do, Jay. Do you? What down at Chernobyl? Yeah, I don't. Think nah, you'd be all right. Anymore. You're all right. Yeah, it's, it's all nonsense, isn't it? Hey, yeah, you're all right now. It's all blown over. It's now. been done. Yeah. Blown, <laughs> blown over Eastern Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd worry about putting the ring on my finger in case I did get like you know infected by it and my fingers mm. went massive. That's interesting that though. It's not very romantic, is it's it? It's not a very romantic. What's story? the least romantic place to get proposed to? Do you think the dump? Yeah, you know, Although I do you like recycling? Do you, Jay? Yeah, yeah, I'm big on that recycling. You've got to you know, aren't you? Because the black bin men only come once in four nights. Don't be racially profiling, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what they look like. no the bin men the bin. aren't black. I mean, the bin men for the black bin. Glad we cleared that up. Glad we cleared that up. Right, and that has been Breaking Joe's. Right, we are <laughs> Jay's fitting right in, isn't he? He's loving it. Yeah. Ethan will be fuming watching it this night. I'm happen. no Ethan James, so we all know that, but I'm glad just to be here. Here's a tease, though. Ethan is saying he's going to record a little bit of a vlog for us, yeah. so we'll be able to watch that on the Sloppy Joe's podcast, and that's going to be funny, isn't it? It's going to be very exciting. Um, I want to tell you a bit now. Uh, I don't know. I want to do 9 out of 10 Club. 9 out of 10 Club! 9 out of 10 Club! What is it, Joe? 9 out of 10 Club is the club that basically honours the fact that Joe McGrath doesn't know how to give food a bad review. Every single thing he's ever eaten, you've seen him on the mank, you've seen him all over the place. Everything he's eaten, he goes, oh, the flavour's on that. Oh, the texture's on that. <laughs> so in honour of that, as Joe falls off, the, off his chair, Thank you much, in honour of that, we, are, we created a club where we only put things in that genuinely are 9 out of 10. Yeah. So they're not 10, you know, it's not the best food of all time, but it's pretty close. So every single week we take it in turns, bringing the food to the table and convincing the other two that it's worthy of the 9 out of 10 club. Now, this week it should be, I think, Ethan's week. Yeah. But instead we've got Jay and he's going to bring his food. Well... Before oh. we get into that, there's oh, a bit of controversy, Jay, and I want to bring you in on this. Last week, yeah. I went, uh, well, I was on holiday in Canada. I tried a chocolate mm. bar, which I believe to be one of the best chocolate bars I've ever, you know, tasted, and I brought it home to share so, with the Sloppy Joes. Is this going to turn out the chocolate bar was on steroids yeah. or something? No, 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 it's worse. I believe that the, the, you know, the Sloppy Joes community should know about this bar. We tried it. You loved it. Oh, it's beautiful. Ethan loved it, um, and it was called the Wonder Bar. Now, yeah. the hygiene in this office means that I've still got the wrapper here because it was on the side when I was making us a brew. The Wonder Bar. What's happened, Joe? I'm scared. As soon as we put the video online, oh, no. everyone started to say that this amazing Canadian treat... That you can only get in Canada. That you can only get in Canada is actually the Star Bar. <laughs> <laughs> so... And, and and I feel pretty guilty because... Is it? It's not. Well, Joe, can you... Just close your eyes. Can you remember what last week tastes exactly like? exactly what the Wonder Bar tastes like. It made it in the Either. 9 out of 10 club. Um, if, I, I feel pretty guilty, Jay, because someone then bought... Let me just... Let me see Joe's face here. Joe's trying the Wonder Bar, a.k.a. the Star Bar. <laughs> what is it, Joe? It's the Wonder Bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> it's cr- how has this happened? I don't know how it's happened. I feel so sorry because someone on our YouTube comments went, guys, I've just ordered a case of 24 from Canada. That's a lot of delivery, that. And he could have just gone to the local shop. Are they the same? They're exactly the same. And I've done some Googling, and it says the Wonder Bar in Canada, blah, 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 about what it is, and it says also known as the Star Bar in the UK. I can't believe it. <laughs> that guy's wasted 30 quid. It's so upsetting, isn't it? So and I've had Star Wars before. What do, we, what, do what do we do? You're head of 9 out of 10 club. What do we do? We leave it in. I'm sure it loses some of its luster because it's not what we thought it was. 
But it's the same. I can't believe it. See what we do. This is great news. Why? Let's focus on the positives. Because now everyone that's not based in Canada, which is most of the people who watch this, can now taste the Wonder Bar. We weird. They have a lot of people. Who Go and taste them. a Star Bar. Grab one from your local shop. You can get them anywhere. <laughs> They're easy to find. <laughs> Eat one and realise just what we went through when we had that Wonder Bar. And I imagine you didn't know it was already in England for the last 30 yeah. years. Jay, was that a good enough apology? I, you did? I mean, I'd, I'd still want the Wonder Bar. Star Bar sounds crap. Star Bar. Wonder, Wonder Bar sounds, sounds great. Cosmopolitan. Mm. Um, Do you know what I mean? It's worth it. It's worth the extra money. Jay, we hand over the show to you now. Right. So what we'd like you to do is talk us through what you're going to brought to the show. Give right. a little description of it. Tell us what it means to you and then reveal what it is. Can I say, I, I, I know what it is, but I've got to say, I I, I've let this in for a certain reason. And I, you'll understand in a minute what I mean by that. Hmm. Um, I'm a man of simple pleasures, right? I'm a creature of habit. Um, and I'll, there's certain things that I like because they're reliable, hmm. you, you can trust them. And this... Can I describe it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. burger is one of those things. It's one of those where this is, if you need a burger, guess what it is? It only costs, I think, 99p. It's nice, does the trick. And throughout my life, I've always eaten them. I've never gone off them. I've always liked them. And if you've got a quid and you pass in the place that sells them and you get one, you're happy. What yeah? is it, Jay? It is. The McDonald's. Cheeseburger. The single. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, now, you don't yes. know this, Jay. <laughs> right. I'm going to get it. You don't know this. Right, go on. But a couple of weeks ago, Joe McGraw brought to the table, to the 9 out of 10 club, the triple cheeseburger. Right. And that made it in. Yeah. Now, Can I just say, <clears throat> if he asked for the double, I would have said no, because it's kind it's of too the close. But the single is... I think it's a completely different burger. It's a very different thing. You yeah. It. It's you interesting that we're even allowing this to be honest. I've, I allowed it because I just thought it, because it's just, how small is it? It's so small. But that, like that's part of the appeal. Right, there we go. You know, is it really? It's Slide it over when you don't. Nice little cheeseburger. I mean, take into consideration it has been sat for about half an hour. It's, I can't believe this is happening. Look, I never thought this would happen. Well, that's reliable. You can set your watch to that. What time is it? Hey. <laughs> there you go. Watch to that burger. <laughs> Let's just leave the camera on you while you eat that. There you go. This bit often gets cut. No, it doesn't get cut. <laughs> no. we, don't, we don't cut the magic on this See, what show. What we do is we've got to forget that the triple cheeseburger exists. No, we yeah. haven't. Yeah. Forget that it's in the nine out of ten club. What is this? It's so ten. much bread, though, Jay. It's not. It's a little bit of bread. It's a nice bit of burger. Nice bit of gherkin. There you go. It's not as good as the triple cheeseburger. So now we have to argue. Is the triple cheeseburger so good that you can be worse than it and still be a nine out of ten? The fact that it's a quid is a good value. Take yeah. Take into consideration. Cost of living crisis. <laughs> Jay's, hey. Jay's just trying out a few <laughs> key words. He to try and get absolute the riled up. Tories. Rail strikes. <laughs> Cost of living crisis. Gas prices. Lynch, is it? <laughs> the war on freedom. Yeah. The woke brigade. Exactly. Um, now it is good, and like you said, I've been having these my whole life as well. Yeah, of course. You, what, you like, what a single cheeseburger from McDonald's. We've all been having these for, since we were born. How many foods have you eaten throughout your whole life? Loads. Like what are you talking about? Like consistently. Have you Why always not? ate Greg's? Have you always ate no. Burger King? Have you always ate no. KFC? No. Have you always ate Nando's? No. Have you always ate Cheeseburger from Mackey's. Yeah. Do you have See it? what I'm saying? Oh, God. I swear it's That's what I mean. That gets in. Come on then, talk me through it. What you right, well, here's the thing for me. There's a lot of bread going on. And the fact that... I mean, I can't get it out of my head that the triple exists, which is, you know, this my, this my downfall. There's a, there's too much bread. It's two-thirds it's bread. It's not fucking loads of bread. It's two thirds it's bread. It is. It's two-thirds bread. Say what, yeah. why don't you come over here and press your own fucking button? No! Oh! Oh! Hey, like we back. don't take it to heart. We don't take it to heart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only messing. Sorry. Um, I've got to be honest. It's not as good as the triple, is it? It just yeah, but no. Oh, you I'm know, sorry, you Jay, can you can still be not as good as something, but good enough to qualify. Oh, that was a that was a real sort of. Last like, the triple swing, could be nine point yeah. four, and this could be nine point one. What do you think, Joe? Because here's the new rule, by the way, Jay. 
we've all got to agree that it gets in or oh, right. it doesn't get in. Right. So okay. you obviously agree that it gets in. You I don't want to say mine yet. You say it. I think for the sake that I've eaten it this much, for the sake that I always go back to it. No, don't. Don't, Joe. Yeah, go on, Don't Joe. give in. I know he's your work colleague. You love each well, other. No, no, don't yeah. start being all know, political. You know, all you, of those you, things mean that it's... If you say this is 9 out of 10... It's great, Joe. Look at him bullying you. The problem is, Joe, it's great. Right, trying to bully you into not, not saying it. The problem is great. it's a great burger. And it's got a homely not, quality to it. But I'm afraid... I'll it's, say the it's, same. It's not it's 9, not out, nine out, of out of 10. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's all right. I'm sorry. so sorry. No, don't worry about it. Do you know what I mean? Listen, some would accuse you of racism. I mean, out of curiosity, how many other black people have had on this channel? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Don't they? None? Ethan could do a voice. <laughs> <laughs> can he? Do Ofcom know about this? <laughs> I'd love to hear Ethan's voice. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, do Ethan's puppets not count? <laughs> Uh, no, do you know what? It's fair enough. Right, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry no, no, Jay. don't apologise. Oh, you nah. know, you make me feel I bad. Get it. No, listen, it's fine. If you'd have got on this mean? podcast before the triple had gone in, that might well have gone it in. It might yeah. well. But it's we just can't timing, isn't it? The triple exists. So I'm afraid on this occasion, the triple cheeseburger is better than the single, and therefore it does not make it into the 9 out of 10 club. Thank you very much, well Jay, for sharing your story, sharing your life with us, but I'm afraid it can't go in. It's a um, street club these days, street isn't it? Club these Jamie days. got in with tree balls, extra strong mints. <laughs> no. Those you got in with butter. Do you like what? butter, Jay? Butter? Yeah. Really? Yeah, and strong there's, mints? There's been a tree balls, past. strong mints, uh, rubbish. There's been a checkered past with a nine out of ten. But do you like butter? <laughs> <laughs> See, the problem yeah, is, it's mint. The thing is, everyone knocks it. Balls. Everyone knocks it, but if you go, our good's butter, they do. I okay. prefer Marge. Great. No. What? I prefer Marge. You don't. Margarine yeah. is better than butter. You are, are saying talking that. about. You, you are saying that to wind us up. Well, you know, but, no, I'm not margarine. trying to wind you up. Margarine is spreadable. It does the job. It says nice. Butter turns rock hard. It's my for, Forget that. <laughs> Butter's like, oh, well, I'm just going to go into the pantry <laughs> to get some butter because I'm living in the 18th century. <laughs> it, margarine is what the Twitter. Margarine? Of, of just, yeah, like, margarine's like, it's, like it's the 21st century and I'm a normal person, so I'm having marge on myself. Disrespect. Margarine tastes bad. It tastes bad. I can't believe it's not but, fucking but, tasty. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> it's really, really heated up. Here. I, I can't believe my burger didn't get in, or McDonald's burger, one of the most popular foodstuffs in the world. Mm. Um, it won't get in, but you'll have tree ball strong mints. Well, which is, is shit. Is, yeah, the, the, there have been some dark days for the 9 out of 10 yeah, club. Yeah, and, and, we're, and we're butter's a forward. bit We've got basic. a new team of PR for the 9 out of 10 club. Okay, fair time. enough. Guys, we have got a sponsor. sponsor we love show. a sponsor. Now listen, they are the wonderful people at Armstrong's Projects. They yeah. were established in 2016 and are Recent. a UK-based construction specialist. They are predominantly in the Northwest and Armstrong's Projects expertise in construction from a wide variety of sectors. It's good, Joe. It is we great, love isn't it? A construction. The thing is, yeah. they've got a responsible team and they guarantee comprehensive turnkey construction service, Joe. I love big words. You do. Along with their partner design teams and healthy database of approved supply chain partners, services can be individually tailored. And you can get your services individually tailored. To meet clients' specific requirements, ensuring the expectations of quality, program and budgets are all met. Their team have experience in various building projects with values ranging from up to five million pounds across a large variety of sectors. Joe. Honestly, just being honest for a second, that's a lot of value. That is a lot they of value. They can handle the big stuff. They could build us a Sloppy Joe's bar. A Sloppy Joe's bunker. Imagine that. Oh and my God. the end of the universe comes. And we can get a Sloppy... Oh, God. Can I have a top bunk? We'll, we'll argue about oh, that later okay, on. Okay. okay. And as with people, so with places, Joe. They've yeah? got a good slogan. They have. What's the slogan? We care, we communicate, we deliver. Yes. They are a team of professionals who take pride in doing more for their clients, bringing a comprehensive devotion to customer service throughout. And if you want to find out more about Armstrong's projects, Honestly. the wonderful people who are helping Sloppy Joe's keep on going, it's www.armstrongs-uk.com. 
www.thelpingoutthepodcast.com. That'll be on the screen here. It's also in the description. So check them out. Like I said, they're helping out the podcast. The great guys over at Armstrong's Projects. Check them out. Link in the description. Thank you very much, Armstrong's Projects. Back on with the show. Okay, right. So we've got some agony bants from real people. Yeah. Agony Bants is where we solve the listeners' problems and conundrums that they've got. So we just have to go with them, yeah? All right. And, so uh, have, you got your, have you got your best advice given hat on, Jay? Yes. Okay, right, here we go. I have got uh, Agony Bants here from Keep Me Anonymous. Uh, give him a name, please, Jay. Any name? Uh, Derek. Derek's getting in touch here. Derek, this is a massive fan of the pod and we need your help, guys. Uh, I'm a big United... No, I've started a brand new job a year ago and me and the boss get on so well thanks to the beautiful game. I'm a big United fan, up the paddock. Uh, and my boss is a Blackburn fan and a City fan. You can't be a two teams like that, can you? Well, you know, uh, and a Chelsea and an Arsenal fan. He says he's a bit of a bracket. He's a glory hunter. Mm. So we aren't sure of conversation. We got on that well. We started a WhatsApp group and we regularly chat about football. Mm. Now, here's where the problem begins. Recently, my boss has started using the WhatsApp group for work-related problems. Oh. Over. Now, here's where the problem starts. It started with small questions, but slowly, these WhatsApp groups were starting to merge into him, asking us to do big, heavy projects on a Sunday evening. What started off as football chat is not him dropping work, uh, uh, hints about doing extra work. I like the guy and he's my boss, but don't want to be rude and say, can we just keep this about football? Um, so what should I do, guys? How do I navigate this conversation to be back onto the thing we love, mm. 40, and save work? For work times. The, the, the thing is, it's over. That chat is dead. Yeah. It's gone now. The, the horse has left the stable. Yeah, You're yeah, not getting dead. it back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. You have to make a new WhatsApp group without him in it. Yeah. It's the only way. Or if you've really got some wow. guts, go to your boss and say, excuse me, can we have a chat? You keep using that. And, he go, <laughs> and then, and then he'll, you keep using that for, for work stuff. And he'll go, yeah, I know, you're lazy fox. You talk about fo fantasy football in the daytime. Yeah. So I'm asking you to do some work on the weekends. It's done. Get no, out. No. Cut your losses. New WhatsApp what chat. Think, what do you think, Jay? I think you go the other way, right? I think you absolutely spam it with loads of football chat constantly. Yeah. And then that way, he's not going to put work stuff in because it'll slip through the net. Uh, okay. So if you're just absolutely hammering it, like, oh, the latest news story on football, transfers, blah, 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 players, blah, 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 just everything. He's not going to slip in, oh, don't forget, so you've got to go and clear out the warehouse or whatever. Just <laughs> spam it until he'll just mute it. That's so, good. So as soon as he just drops, or maybe like as that. soon as he drops a work chat, <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Yeah. And, and then also, if you've not done the job, you say, oh, sorry, I forgot to do whatever. You say, oh, it's because there's about a million messages in there, and you know what I mean? I didn't yeah. see it. That's really good. What I'd say is... Um, Kill him. No. <laughs> I'd do a couple of things. One, I'd rename the group Football Chat Only. Straight away. Fuck him. That's so passive, passive aggressive, isn't it? Yours is aggressive and yours, yours is passive yeah, yeah, yeah. Football well, Chat The next only. one might be a bit aggressive. Oh. If he does it again, kick him out. <sighs> you can't kick your own boss out of You can't. It's only a WhatsApp group. That's grounds termination. No, it's not. That's unfair dismissal. <laughs> if he sacked you like that, you say, well, you can talk cool about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, awesome. It changed, changed the name of the group to Football Chat Only. <laughs> Watch as he changes it to You're Sacked. <laughs> yeah, You're Sacked Only. Yeah. Or what could the profile picture be so he really gets the... Him with a noose around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Sick puppy. Sorry, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, maybe not that. Uh, anyway, I hope it goes well. Yeah, you'd be right go. there. Don't go with Jay's. Jay's was the best one. This one was a bit ran random. It's from a lady... Lady's oh. name, please, Jay. L Lucinda. Lucinda. That's what I've got to say. It's from a lady. We need a lady's name. Okay. Hi, guys. Please keep me anonymous. I love your podcast. And I'm a please huge... Keep it, please keep me what? Sorry? Anonymous. anonymous. I'm a huge said, fan, on. but we're going to call you Lucinda. Lately, me and my boyfriend have been hooked to a multiplayer mobile game called Bounce. Wow. It's essentially a race game. And we're both... A race game? Yeah. Ra <laughs> Sorry? What is it? A racing game. Oh, a racing game. Race. Yeah, it's essentially a race <laughs> game, it says here. <laughs> Uh, we're both quite competitive at it. When I first ball. introduced him to it, he was great at it, but it really hurt my ego. Now, after weeks of practice, I have also become a pro at a game. Unfortunately, my boyfriend barely wins now. I am torn. This is where the question comes in. Like I really enjoy I really enjoy playing it, but I don't want my boyfriend to think of himself as a loser. <laughs> 
this is <laughs> this is genuine. I don't want him to f- to get insecure over the bounce abilities and break up with me. What mm. should I do? I hope I can stay anonymous as a boyfriend. He's very sensitive about this, and he's like to shed a tear uh, if he watches the episode. Can I just say, right? Um, to he's Lucinda, clearly going to know he Lucinda, is. If he watches this episode. He knows that it's him. Yeah. Regardless of what pseudonym or moniker you employ. Maybe for the you shouldn't sake have told us the, the game, should you? Yeah. I think if you if you're like, oh well, my girlfriend, we used to play bounce together, and I used to be better than her, and now she's better than me. No, it must be someone else. Yeah. We ain't got enough viewers for that to be someone else. So here's what you gotta do. I've got an idea as well. Okay, you go first. She takes you one side and sort sort your fucking head out. Yeah. Get better. Go full Gaza. Yeah, go training. Yeah. Start like 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 you're giving yourself to jujitsu, give give yourself to bounce, go full on in, yeah. bounce your head off, yeah, bounce. get better though. Don't yeah. expect for me to get worse. You up it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like full that. on team talk with him. Yeah. You go, end, give him a slap. Hey, David, come here. He's at the dinner table with all his family. Come here. Oh, is he playing ping pong? Yeah. Bring him in. Hey, what have we what have we said? What have we said? Get better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your head's gone. Your head's gone. Yeah. And I'm not going to fuck around with no boyfriend that can't bounce me out of the bedroom. That's that's the key. Go on, Jay. Maybe. Give him rewards. Whoever, if you win, then you know what. And if you don't, we're not doing that. But th- would you say there's a chance here that maybe... You bounce on him if he bounces back? Yes, nice. Would you say nice. there's a chance maybe that this game doesn't mean that much to him? That she's <laughs> going to sort of redeploy their entire sex life around a phone game? Could that be too well, much work? No, but it's obviously important because they've contacted the podcast. So, mm. yeah, I think just reward him if he wins, and that'll motivate him. If it doesn't, just then just stop playing the game. And get a fucking. Would mind. you ever? Would you? Do you think you could break up with someone if they were so bad at a, a, a you know an activity that you did together? Um, what what sort of act? Activity? You remind me of a Candy Crush kind of guy, Jay. Mm. No, I've never played Candy Crush. I never got. I never got into it. I went out with a girl once. Who was this? This thing who, when you set your date or your time on the Candy Crush, you get more lives. Something. Right. If you right, okay. put, put your clocks back on your phone. Oh, okay. You oh, could yeah, get. You have to wait six hours, but you yeah. can change your clock, so it kind of uh, yeah. six hours have passed. Right. And I remember uh, one of my exes. She did that and went into work an hour early because she'd set the wrong time on the phone. <laughs> I got there, no one was there. She's like, "Where the fuck is everyone?" And I just realised because she set the wrong time on the phone playing Candy Crush. That's, that's bad, isn't it? Was that was funny. that when you knew it wasn't going to work out? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that, that was. The yeah, yeah, was that it? The Candy Crush sagas. It was. She wasn't the crush after that, was she? That's the problem. <laughs> it wasn't because I started seeing someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Been tra- Jay. Yeah. Very, very rude, that. Um, well, how, well, they're your problems. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's podcast at gmail.com. Yeah, send in your problems, send in your issues, and we'll sort them out. Two real life that? sloppers there. Real great sloppers. I'm shutting my laptop oh, because. Wow. Uh, oh, we finally realised that Joe versus Joe means you can't go on the Wikipedia page of your specialist subject. I don't need it this week anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Joe versus Joe. Oh. And me and Joe go head to head in a battle. Smoldering. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? A battle of, of, of intelligence of our chosen subjects. Mm. Um, yours is for the second week on the trot. The sound of music. But mine is, because I really need some points on the board, the numbers are one to ten. <laughs> one of the most fundamental categories you can possibly I pick. think I'm going to be fucking good um, at this. Just to be clear, um, it's first to seven this season yeah. of Joe vs. Joe. Uh, if you lose, yeah. you wax your back. If I lose, I get my back because I can crack whack. <coughs> yeah. It's currently 6-2 to me. Yeah. So if I win this week, you're getting your back waxed yeah. and we're showing it to the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big week for you this, it's mate. It's a big week. Yeah, well, I, I have just, you know, I'm not a cheater. Okay. Uh, Jay, I have sent you my questions for the Sound of Music on WhatsApp. Well. Yeah. Have you got them? Yeah, I've got them. Right, so you can go. Would you want to go first? Should I go first at the bar or what? I'll go first. So, am I reading these out yeah, to, just to, to Joe? Stop at the answer. Um, right, okay. Uh, so, He's which a- actor played Captain Von Trapp? The lead. You should know this. You should know it. What is it, Jay? Which actor played Captain Von Trapp? I forgot. What do you mean you forgot? I forgot! You've not forgotten. I've not to survive this week. You've got so, you live such a mysterious life. Just give 10 minutes to sound I've been music. busy. You've not. I don't know. Um, 
Luther Vandross. Ooh, Luther Vandross. Yeah. So close, actually. It was Christopher Plummer. Christopher Plummer. Who was close then? Yeah. He's dead yeah. now. Okay. Is he dead? I actually have made that up. I he could be dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course he could he's be dead. dead. He's very old if he wasn't. Should I give right. if he's dead? Nah. No, it's all right. We're, we're, let's not that deep. Oh, I can't wait um, to get that. That's stupid. That's bad, that. Yeah. Christopher Plummer is fucking mad. Club the, the Hills might have been alive with the sound of music, but Julie Andrews kept doing what during the filming? Farting. Now think about it. Singing. <laughs> no, she do something. It's technically right. Um, it's not the answer. No, no, it's not the answer I've got. It's not the answer I've got. She kept right. She's on the hills. She's on the hills. Can I get the question again? Yeah. The hills might have been allow alive even with the sound of music, but Julie Andrews kept doing what during the filming? Kept doing what during the filming? <laughs> Skiing. I'll give you that. No, yeah. you yes, yes, you're yeah. giving yeah. me. It's up to Jay's discretion. Yeah. Thank yeah. you Don't very much. Give me yeah, well, why? Technically, it's it's kind of true. What's the answer? Falling down hills. Yeah, thank you. All right. Um, That's a shambles, that. What falling was down a hill and skiing is not the same thing. Okay, what what's was the... <laughs> if, it not, if it's not falling down a hill. Yeah, a that is time. the definition of skiing. Thanks, Jay. No, but it's not. One, that's one on the falling, ball. Falling, it's riding down a hill. Falling, riding, potato, it's potato. Um, what was the original title of the film? Oh, that's a good question. That's yeah. hard, that. Oh it is actually week two. <laughs> it's only week two. Don't swear. No, he's giving he's giving you skiing. I've and got an island with a shout here. Go on then. The original title was called No Way Nazi No Way. Fucking hell, he's only nailed it. He's nailed it! No, what was it? <laughs> it's not that, that, is it? You know. Um what was it? it it was called The Singing Heart. The Singing Heart, classic. It's 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 a pretty standard general knowledge question that. Right. I would have got it. What? That's I would have got it. I would have got the Christopher Plummer one. Honestly, Jay, you don't know because you're not here enough. The guy is obscene with Listen, questions. Listen, if, if, if week one, one isn't... Week, the... One week, every single answer to my questions was Paris. And <laughs> another week, he asked me, what's the population of Paris to, uh, France to within a million? I got it within a million. And he said I was wrong. Right, go on. Go what on. are these answers? I swear to God, if these are tough, right. this is week one. So, so your to be like... topic is numbers so, one to ten. So just to stop, so when you say there... Uh, <laughs> this is week one, so it has to be like you've picked what you think, and I realise what you're doing now. You picked traffic lights last week because you thought three colours, three questions. What colour is next? You, and now you've gone <laughs> one to ten. You think there are? I'm going to ask you what comes after five, don't you? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> that, is that why you've picked these six simple? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's going to pick next? Gas. Which is think that's not simple, is it? I've got to say, these are ridiculously easy. These. If you don't get all three, you should right, be ashamed right, of yourself. Right. right, seriously. Um, what is a number? And now, now, before you start the answer, you've got 10 seconds to answer this, and your definition has to be close enough to the real definition what that Jay gives you. What are you talking about? What, numbers one ten. Question one, what is a number? You have 10 seconds number, starting from <laughs> now. A number is a digit. <laughs> it's a digit. It's a mathematical. It's something using maths to help count things. Correct. Well done. Um, what is the official definition, Jay? An arithmetic value, uh, sorry, an arithmetical value expressed by a word, symbol, or figure representing a particular quantity and used in counting and making calculations. We'll give him that. He did well. Also, there. what's with the time? Because on that one, it was. I didn't give you a 10 second timer. Because that was on a definition thing. So I don't want you to just dawdle till you've hit all the words in the sentence. Oh, you okay. had to say it, and you did. Well done. Um, question time. number two. You need, this to, you need this to stay alive. What. Is the generic name for a nine-sided shape? It's got nothing to do with numbers one to nine, ten. Uh, a nine-sided shape. Jay, would you say that's within the remit of the numbers one to ten? A hundred percent. Thank you. And you can work this out. That's not. You can work this out. If we did shapes, then yeah, Jay. But we're doing numbers one to ten. Nine-sided shape. Think about it. You can work this out. Come on, right, what's think. A four, what's a six-sided shape? Um, Fuck it. I don't know. You don't know. Oh, is it an octagon or something like that? That's an right. eight-sided shape. Right, well, that's going to be eight. Hexagon. That's no. a six-sided shape. That's what? It's nine-again. No, Ooh. I'm not having this. Is I'm it the bar? Is it it's the bar? It's I'm a non-again. What? Okay. If my special really, subject... Okay, it's, just so you know, it's not nine-again, so you got that one wrong. If my special subject... It's like me asking you about another Christopher Plummer film. No, he not. was in The Sound of Music, 
Like, I, I, I understand what you're talking about, but yeah, there's a question about shapes. You almost before said that I wanted prime numbers. I wanted, you know, what, what's thing times by three? I wanted maths questions, not what's this? You're, what's the like? What's the next Joe, one? And also, can I just that's say a that tough one. Right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Noticed a trend all right. That you, you getting upset at these questions? This is. I think you this might is be a bit not, of a diva. Is, I tell you what, I'm not getting my backs waxed. If I'm not getting my backs. Right, this is easy. This <laughs> is. Look at him. He's a child. That is, that is a tough. I hope the comments realise that is a tough one. Right, listen. This is this this is this one's easier. So what was it? What was the answer, Jay? Nonagon. A nonagon. Right, you ready? You can go for right. I don't want to go through from north no, to ten. Right. No one's asked. Yes, right. it's shapes. Well, you are. If, if if we wanted to do a thing on shapes, I would have picked shapes. All right. Um, Question three. Hey, this is fun. Um, which nation invented the Hindu Arabic? That's one to ten scale number system. That's a fair question. The numbers one to ten. Who invented the numbers one to ten? That couldn't be more within the remit. That's here. tough. Which nation invented it? Where did the numbers one to ten come from? Greece. <sighs> no. No, no it's, 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 it's not. It's not. I am not doing it. That's it's a tie. No. I am not doing the hexagon one. That's about shapes. My, listen. That's about shapes. Sure. You give him right. falling down yeah, the hill. Question, you give, this is cheating. Cheating. Which it's nation cheating. invented cheating. the Hindu? Arabic number system, Greece. I thought it was like they did maths and that. That's not a bad idea. They invented the calculus. Who was yeah. it? India. India. Indian mathematicians between the first and fourth centuries. You, I'm not having it because one of my things about shapes. No, I'm not. Jay's I'm, come I'm, with it. I'm on strike. I'm RMT in it. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm on the listen. Line. I'm gonna pick it Listen, no, no, we'll combine, we'll combine. We'll combine the two. We'll combine the two. We'll combine we'll combine the two topics. Combine the two topics, right? For a tiebreaker. No. Right? Where's Mick? Get Mick on the phone. Listen. Mick Mick. Stop! Where's Mick? Joe he does it. Joe, I'm sorry that you have to see this. He does this every week. I am Right. Listen, listen. We're gonna do a tiebreaker. Yeah? So what is it? First thing No. Right. I'm going to let me see if I can get the answer. You're so upset I'm that you have to get your back waxed. What's no, no, no. It's inevitable that I'm going to get back waxed. I'm not going to turn it around, am I? Get, and get a draw out of Joe versus Joe. I just don't like the injustice of it. What's the injustice? What is the size of a nine? I would have taken the five because it's week one. Absolute week one. shambles. Right. Week one. I asked you where it was. <sighs> Hang on a minute. I'm trying you to find someone. City in Austria was it set? World famous. There's only about two cities in Austria anyway. Right, I'm going a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. Right. So, so we do a tiebreaker. And if you get, if I get this right, you've got to speak to my union. <laughs> no, are we going to do it for both of you? Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going a minute. So you both have a guess. Um. Right. Okay. How old? So it's a number one between one and ten. Whoever gets closest was the youngest von Trapp. So it's combined there. You've got a bit of numbers. sound of music and a bit <coughs> of uh, numbers. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we both have a guess. You go first. Four. I was going to say four. So I'll go five. I think, I think, um, I think that Joe McGrath might be right. <laughs> Well, do you know? <laughs> what is this? Is the I'm trying thing. to find it, right? I go on. I go on. Absolute shambles. Right. Um, I'm sorry, because. Oh, we yeah. are. Oh, no, five. No! Five. Yes! Five. Yes! five. Yes! Sorry. No, yes! Yes! Age five. No, five. No, Gretel no, von Trapp. Age five. Justice. I'm calling A5. I'm calling Joe, Ethan. It's, over, it's, not, it's not over. Oh. Nah, I'm on sorry. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. Gretel was. She was five. No, no. Go away. Go away. My toy's coming out the pram. Away. It's Away. It's not happening. It's not happening. No one's wanted to The injustice. Seven. Two. The injustice of this. It's I'm not. One. I'm not doing Joe versus Joe again. I'm sorry. You're back to be wet. fun. Yeah. And you've made it awful. You've struggled. <laughs> you've struggled you've with made the fun. it a shambles. <laughs> I'm shambles. sorry. I it's thought that was a fair tiebreaker. Also, the question you got right, yeah. you didn't even get right. You said skiing. Very similar. Jay. Falling down uh, hills. I'm 6 2. No, boy. 7 2. So that means it's Joe's not, got to get no, his back it's done, waxed. It's done. I'm speaking to Ethan when he gets back. <laughs> I'm being speaking to Ethan. I don't mind getting my back waxed, but I'm not falling like that. <laughs> Skiing like that. 
I swear to God, that's Jay. what you mean. You Do you mean see skiing? what you've done, Jay? Well, I was—I thought I'll be skiing. falling downhill skiing. It's similar. Give him it, a bit of a, uh, you know. It's not similar. Jay. You were helping him anyway. You were giving him clues. Yeah. So I thought I didn't it's think it was that similar. serious. I didn't realise it was going to be such I an got issue. An eight one. Why couldn't you ask me that? No, week one question that. Nonagon. <laughs> Nonagon. Should we move on? Yeah, I'm not. It's six two. There's no one point. Seven two. Joe's going to get his. No, <laughs> no, I won't. Well, no, I'm, not, I won't. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm caused drama. Who are you texting? Uh, are you texting? There's texting no. There is. Th- just to be clear, there is no podcasters right. union. I'm texting Ethan. He's away. He needs to have a say in this. <laughs> that was a shambles. Oh, we were. Right, together. that's Joe versus Joe this <laughs> week. Seven two. Joe needs to get his back wax, and we will show that on the podcast. <laughs> Very special. No. Patreons <laughs> only. No. What's next, Joe? <laughs> no. You're in charge of the next feature, aren't you? you fucking ass. <laughs> That's getting cut out. You've really let yourself down today. You both have it's really let really, well, you, know you know what? It's, it, it's Listen, really you were shambles. willing to play that tiebreaker, so you can't blame me, because you was yeah, like, well, all right, I'll do the tiebreaker. It's not, it's not like you, this Joe. I, th- I honestly thought this was like a jovial round that yeah, wasn't it, that deep. No, no it, it, it usually <laughs> it is when Joe wins. What, twice? When Joe wins, it goes it goes ever so smoothly. <laughs> so this is Ask Us, where we read out your emails. And they, this, these are to find out a bit about us. We're not yeah. seeking advice. We're giving a bit back. Yeah. Right? This is from Jimbo. And he says, hi, guys. I'm a member of the first 500 sloppers here. Well Thank done. you very much. Join the Patreon if you haven't already. I've been told I'm the spitting image of Zlatan. Who would you say your celebrity lookalike is? Jimbo. Joe, I'll start with you. Who do you get? Holy um, monster. No, not a honey monster. I get Henry the Ape on this pod, <laughs> and uh, the 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 <laughs> they've been very kind. They've been very Don't it look like Henry the Ape, Jay? Right. Henry the Ape, what a leader! Yeah, uh, they've, <laughs> been, they've been very kind in photoshopping some Henry the Ape photos. Mm. So I was thinking we could get some plasters on the walls mm. here. Um, I'm going to get one framed to put it behind you from now on. But you was if I do that, you've got to get one as well. You, I want the classic, you know, last supper picture, but you're in the middle. Okay, I'll do that. I'm happy to do that. Yeah, I get Jesus all the time. You do look like Henry VIII, though. I don't like him that much. You do? I don't. What What? What features? The beard. The head shape is bang on. You've got quite a sort yeah, of... Yeah, but all you've seen is Henry VIII, is it like a, it's like a painting? Yeah. What's up with that? Well, it's just a painting, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> and Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us when we met Jesus that time. I get compared to paintings constantly. I get Jesus all the time. I get Russell Brand occasionally. Yeah. My barber once said I look like Ashton Kutcher, which what? I don't, I don't Where understand. Is that from? No idea. He's like, you like him? You know, you like him from Two and a Half Men. Like, what? what did he Charlie do? Charlie Sheen. He went, no, the new guy. The Kutcher. new guy, Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. No, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. No. Jay, who do you get? Um, I've had all sorts, mate. I've had Mo Farah, which I don't oh, really think. I had Dean Dublin when I was younger. Skunk and Ansi. The singer from Skunk and Answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. Um, oh, that's good. Good answer. Uh, yeah, I've had a few, to be honest with you. Just lazy, though, well, aren't they? Uh, that is not fun. Your kids, your kids did a celebrity look alike for you as well, didn't they? Oh, well, there's the one time when we, well, there was a couple of times. Once when my daughter was very young, she was looking over my shoulder and she was saying, Daddy. Daddy and pointing at something. And when I looked over at what she was pointing at, it was uh, a packet of Uncle Ben's. It was the guy on the Uncle Ben's packet. That's a bit disconcerting. That. Like, Uncle Ben. <laughs> like, oh, she was only about one or whatever. So I like, do you know what I mean? I can't have a digger. Jeez, <laughs> can't yeah. have a digger. No, you can't. <laughs> can't have a digger. Can't have a digger anyway. Uncle Ben. I used to get... Um, Uncle Ben's now. The guy off. Is it just Ben's? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Why were the uncle, was he a bit of a weirdo? It, it had um, racial connotation, took it out. Ah. Uh, oh, did it? Yeah. I didn't realise that. There you go. Yeah. But yeah, yeah um, I've had loads. Uh, the guy off the chase, they did that as well. They used to call him Daddy. Uh, the Dark Destroyer, Sean Wallace. Oh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> right. You okay? Next you can do this. You've done this before. <laughs> Hello, Sloppy Joes and Ethan. <gasps> Well, it's Ethan's getting a shout out. That's not good, isn't Jay? Jay today. I know. I was hoping you could help me out. But it's actually a question. Okay. 
During your podcast, which I love, by the way, Thank in you. brackets, uh, you touch a lot on how Joe shits himself weekly, oh. and you've also touched on how Joe Smith wipes his ass and occasionally gets shit on his wrist. Yeah. Um, what I would like to know is, if I'm in the wrong for being a front wiper, I don't feel like I get a good enough wipe or clean from the back. The only thing is with the front wipe is not only do you get the odd shit-stained hand, you also get a wet wrist from Willy Dribble. Should I revert to back wiping or sacrifice no Willy Dribble for a better wipe? Wow. That's this is Paul. a great question. Uh, Jay, we've all said well, how we wipe. How do you wipe? Um, just standard, really, in the bathroom and that. Oh, I know you stood up, sat down? You wipe in the bathroom, you stood up. Um, stood up. Um, behind with me and behind my back. Is it um, like, I'm is tied it? behind your back, <laughs> <laughs> um, or do you go like that? Um, yeah, just I don't know. Like from I the back, don't stand up, me. You don't stand up. No, no I, I feel don't. like you're in a weird position when you're standing up. Really? You like you like doing a fuck, like a jiggy, aren't you? Like yeah, because if you think the the aim of the game can is you, to get can you can in you there. wipe in front of people? What? what? When what? do you ever need to what do, do you that? Mean, Couldn't you like? Because some people like will have a wee in front of the partner or whatever. Yeah. They won't have a poo or they won't. I don't think I could ever wipe my ass in front of you. Like, is that off? No. Have you ever? No, no, I, I, I don't. I'll have a wee in front of my missus and that, but I won't. Like, anything else is just, no. <laughs> I, feel like, I felt like there was a story there and you <laughs> reversed. <laughs> like, you geez. reversed so quickly. No, <laughs> no, I honestly, I'm not, I, you know, I'll tell you anything. I just told you my kid thought I looked like Uncle Ben's. I'm not <laughs> precious. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the time to be candid, uh, to be coy. The, the front, the front wipe is odd, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but like, you know what you mean. Are you not you worried get about it? getting poo on you? A little balls. bit of the gooch. But yeah, but here's the question for that. People say that, and I always think that that's the instinct. The first thing you think is, oh, you wipe from the front, you get shit on your bollocks. You ain't got shit halfway up your back from wiping backwards. That's true. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, so and if anything, but but you're taking away, aren't you, when you wipe backwards? You're taking it away before you get to your back, aren't you? Yeah, but you, that's what you would do wiping front ways. I want to take it a bit away. So I'm sitting mm. down from the back. I don't know. I think it's complicating it. Going I feel like I might have to change when my shoulders get worse. I'll give, give, give it a go. Pop out so I'm I'll try it. Have you ever tried the sitting down? Sitting down wipe? Yeah. Uh, um, not really. Try I it can't tonight. Think it. I'll, I'll try it. I'll give it a go. I'll give it the sitting down wipe and the front wipe as yeah, well. You try it all. Jay's reviews. I think, Jay, if you think about it, standing up. Do you know those, um, have you ever seen those paper sort of beaks that when you, you pull them close, you pull them tight, they close, and when you pull them The one where them you short, like guess your future. Up, that kind of thing, yeah. yeah. If you think about your bum as one of them, when you're sat down, it's it's like that, it's open. Yeah. But when you stood up, it's all stretching long and, and, and closing off. Ah. So you, you're trying to sort of walk through a closed door when you wipe stood up, Jay. Whereas if right. you open the door first, you might, ah, you, you might have to. That's, that's true. Very yeah. scientific. Do you ever get a fudgy bum? But like... You know, you should yeah. have really done harder. Sorry? You should yeah. have really... Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's nasty, isn't it? Yeah, especially at our age. What age? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you right. If you look at the light, you don't sneeze. Oh, you, you, do, sneeze. Oh, you do sneeze. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know what just happened to me. <laughs> I just looked at the light and it went away. Wow. I've got weird hay fever for a minute. What's going on? Are you right? okay? What's happening? I just got a real urge to sneeze. My eyes just started watering. What's this? God. Imagine this. It was the anger from before. Just everything's boiling what? over. I don't know what's going on with you. We need to wrap this podcast up, Joe. Yeah, we've had a wonderful time. But, you know, uh, it kicked off a bit before. Can you apologise? No, I'm not apologising. Are you, Joe? <laughs> Joe, are you still my mate? Maybe. Have you forgiven me? Yeah, Because I, I, I misjudged the room. I thought this was just having a laugh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Talking about wiping our asses and Uncle Ben's yeah, are, and are, Sound of Music. And then it was all, enough. you looked cross. I didn't like it. You know what? Thank you so much for coming in, Jay. Ethan you have been, yeah, is thanks. living it up I've, in Iron Apple. I've enjoyed it. I'm yeah, no Ethan, we've got a but... we coming from him very soon. As well. oh, yeah, we've yeah. missed him. Yeah. So don't worry, I won't be back next week. It'll be him. Producer yeah. Jay. Where can people find your producer, Jay? If they want more of your well, production talent. Well, if they want more of Sloppy Joes, you made a little cameo on my podcast with True. Scotty. So it was Scotty, Motty and Sloppy Joe, or yeah, one half of it. Scotty, Motty and Sloppy. Sloppy. Yep. Check so out the link for that is in the description. Yeah, so come check it out. We were talking about our top five sporting icons, so check that one out. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Uh, and please get more emails in. We love him. Yeah. Uh, oh, I've got a task for everyone. Oh, great. Go this on. is what I want to say. This is the task I've got for everyone. 
Where's the weirdest place or the, the best place the Sloppy Joe's podcast can be played out loud somewhere? So I want to know if you maybe work in a farm or maybe someone works on a tannoy, near a tannoy, or like in a stadium, or like on arenas or gig venues or clubs or nightclubs. If someone's a DJ, play the Sloppy Joes out for a bit. Play the Sloppy like, Joes theme it tune. Can tune be an empty, it can be an empty place. If a DJ place. plays the Sloppy Joes theme tune to a packed club, <laughs> I will I will do one episode naked. Yeah. It, yeah? No. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Know. Right. Uh, Seriously. Yeah. We can make that. You've got connections there, Joe yeah, McGrath. Yeah. You can so make that happen. Please, that's your task. We want to know where's the most, the craziest, the best, the wonderful, the weird place you can get the Sloppy Joe's podcast played out loud. Uh, try and film it if you can. Uh, and email us sloppyjoespodcast at gmail.com. Great. Thank you very much. For, Thank you very uh, much for joining, joining us. us. We'll be back next week with another. We might need a new producer. What? Ethan's away for ten days. What is very, he? Yeah. You're not See enough you. for ten See days. See you later. Bye. 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 Wait, Jay. <laughs> Today's sponsor is We love them. We know them. It's Manscaped, Joe. Yes, who would have thought it Manscaped was yeah. sponsoring our podcast? It's great that, innit? Love it. Summer is coming, the sun is shining, shirts are off, and your balls are smooth. <laughs> yeah, they really are smooth. You could what do you do with smooth stuff? Rub it on your face. You can rub it on your face. You heard me right. Eat your dinner off it. Our friends at Manscaped are here to make sure your beach balls are nice and smooth. As Floridan sand. As nice. Florida sand. Nice. In summer, you want to <laughs> kill some cold beers and oh, have yeah. a barbecue. Yeah, but you don't want to kill the vibe. What does kill some cold beers mean? Just... Love it. Um, and you also just want to be free. You want to yeah. be pube free. That's why Manscaped has their performance package 4.0 oh. to keep the party in the pants looking crisp and refreshing yeah. all summer long. It's perfect. And all you have to do to get in with Manscaped is use the code Joe's20. With that, you get 20% off and free shipping. The 20 in the Joe's20 represents the 20% you're getting off. That's, that's why it's the that simple. Works. Joe's 20 for 20% off and free shipping. Now, I don't want to be be mean or to call anything out, but you'll be the first to admit you've got a pretty hairy back. Oh, hairy, yeah. You're a person that needs scaping. Yes, it is. Manscaped is just perfect for you. Isn't I it? use Manscaped. I am bald as a coot down there. Yeah. It is great for <laughs> trimming. I go upwards. Hmm. When you shave, do you go upwards or do you go downwards? I tend to go downwards. Really? Yeah, I do actually. I and play with fire. I like to go towards the shaft. That's good. I'm very impressed by that. <laughs> Manscaped. <laughs> Make sure you, they've got... <laughs> Right, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need. They have these amazing Lomo 4.0 trimmer, the Weed Whacker ears, stuffy ears, get your weed whack in there, and nose hair trimmer. They have Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Toner, as well as their Performance Boxer Briefs oh. and a little travel bag. Just a little one. You just pop it all in there. Take, take it out with you. Take with you. It's perfect. It really is. Manscaped are brilliant. I use them all the time. I genuinely get compliments every time I use it. Wow. What's what? It's twice as big as it used to be. No, no, no. No, no, no. I just remove this sort of obstructive foliage. Yes. It's as simple as that. That's one thing people don't talk about. Yes, it removes sweat. Yes, it, it, you know, it helps wick away moisture with the boxers. But also, if it's ne neatly groomed and tightly put together, it looks yeah. bigger. It looks bigger. It's like the opposite of what happens to spinach. Exactly. It wilts in the pan, but you won't wilt with a pan with Manscaped. You Make sure you use the code Joe's20 at checkout to get 20% off and free shipping. Link in the description. If you've heard Manscaped ads before, you've watched podcasts, you've seen, you know about them, and you've never clicked the link, just give it Do a it go. Because genuinely, well. they are brilliant, and I use them us. all the time. Manscaped.com, use the code Joe's20 for 20% off and free shipping. Back Bye. to the show.